Yo, what is good everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be breaking down the NHL DFS slate for Tuesday, October 25th. We got ourselves a beautiful 10 game slate here tonight where I'm going to go through a couple of my favorite line stacks, some of my favorite individual plays, and some of my favorite value plays. With that being said, let's dive into my spreadsheet here. And we're going to kick things off here like we always do in the top left hand corner with those highest implied game totals. You can see the wild at Canadian is coming in at seven goals eight of these games are coming in at six and a half goals and then we have the stars at Bruins there coming in at six goals and then I got the Vegas odds listed behind me there and you can see who's favored to win tonight with that being said let's kick this off with a couple of my favorite line stacks here for tonight and there is a lot to love about the forward position on this 10 game slate I think there's a number of different routes that we could go but one line that stuck out to me was that first line for the Detroit Red Wings we got Larkin centering Kubalik and Raymond now the connection we've seen in the last two games between Larkin and Kubalik has been very very good these two have combined for four goals and four assists, eight points in just their last two games. And while Lucas Raymond hasn't been at his best to start the year, I still like his upside, especially at this price here, $4,600. You're going to get all three of these guys who play up on the number one power play. Catching a New Jersey Devils team playing on back-to-back -back nights. They played at home last night, then they got to travel into Detroit, and they're going to be starting Vidic Vanacek, who has not been very good. He's allowed six goals goals here now on 26 shots through two games. So yeah, I like the matchup here, especially catching this Devils team on back-to-back -back nights. And then a cheaper line stack I like here tonight is that first line for the Montreal Canadiens. We got Suzuki centering Caulfield and Monaghan, who also have a great matchup at home here tonight against the Minnesota Wild, who have looked like one of the worst defensive teams in the NHL to start the year and have gotten no help from their goaltenders. They're allowing damn near five and a half goals per game through their first five games, which is the most in the NHL. Now you're going to see these three play up on the number one power play as well. And another area Minnesota has really struggled this year is on their penalty kill, just hitting at a 75% rate. So there is a lot of upside here considering the correlation in the matchup. You've seen these three combine for nine goals, seven assists, 16 points in their first six games. So not crazy high numbers by any means, but they can definitely get on the score sheet. Now, folks, before we dive into some of my favorite individual plays here, three things. Number one, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. I'm going to have hockey content coming out for you guys all year long. Number two, if you're on Discord and want to join my channel, I don't know why I keep doing that, posting a picture there, but link in the description below if you want to join that. And for those of you who are on Twitter as well, I am posting some NHL bets on there if you want to follow along. All right, now diving into some of these individual plays here, we're going to kick it off with the forwards and I kind of like doing a little mini game stack between the Minnesota Wild and the Montreal Canadiens tonight. You could roll out that first line for Montreal and then run it back with Kaprizov, Zuccarello, maybe Kalen Addison or even Freddie Gaudreau who I got listed as a low priced option. Looks like he's going to be centering that first line tonight. But Kaprizov has been very good to start the year. No surprise there. Four goals, four assists, eight points in his first five games. Was actually just held off the score sheet last game for the first time this year against the Boston Bruins and this guy loves to shoot the puck he's got four plus shots on net and four or five games as well so the upside the matchup everything looks great for Kaprizov here so like I said I kind of like stacking this game up a little bit in general the next guy I got there then is Matthew Kachuk of the Florida Panthers who's off to a great start with his new team he's now racked up three goals five assists eight points in his first six games and he was naturally a shooter in Calgary but he's shooting the puck at a ridiculous rate here in Florida. He has at least four shots on net in every single game so far this year, totaling 29 through six games. Now he's going to play on that second line, but plays up on the number one power play. Should log about 19, 20 plus minutes here tonight in a good matchup against the Chicago Blackhawks. I then got Boone Jenner there of the Columbus Blue Jackets, who can have some good games. He can have some bad games, but I like the upside here tonight in this home matchup against the Arizona Coyotes, who are allowing 5.20 goals per game through their first five games. That's the second most in the NHL just behind the Minnesota 
Minnesota Wild. Now Jenner has one goal, three assists, four points in his first seven games, playing up on that first line in number one power play. Starting to build a little more chemistry with Johnny Gaudreau, you can definitely see that, but ultimately it does come down to the matchup here tonight against this Coyotes team who, again, looks like it's going to be one of the worst teams in the NHL all year long. Next on my list there then is Tyler Toffoli of the Calgary Flames, and quite honestly, I like that first line in general here tonight. You'll have Lindholm centering Uberdo and Toffoli. All those guys are very affordable, and quite honestly, I don't know if I've ever seen Jonathan Uberdo priced in the low 5k range, but that's where he's at tonight. You get all three of those guys who play up on the number one power play. Catching a Pittsburgh Penguins team here playing on back-to-back -back nights that has had a good start to the season, but they're allowing a lot of shots on net. 37 shots on net allowed per game through their first six games. This first line should definitely be able to create traffic and opportunities against this Penguins team. Toffoli here, if I'm talking about him as an individual, has been off to a good start. Three goals, two assists, five points in his first five games, averaging around 14 DraftKings points per game, and has hit 13 plus DraftKings points in four of five games. I then got Adrian Kempe there of the Los Angeles Kings. This Kings team just wrapped up a five game road trip. Kempe did slow down towards the end of that trip, but still off to a pretty good start this year with four goals, two assists, six points in his first seven games. You know, I've talked about this a number of times this year. If you're going to price him in the upper 4K range or low 5K range, I am going to take advantage of that. Even in a tougher matchup here at home against the Tampa Bay Lightning, we all know that Vasilevsky can turn it on at any given moment, but again, I'm going to take advantage of this price for a guy that has multiple point upside, plays on that first line, plays on the number one power play, and should log about 17 plus minutes here tonight. And then I got Oliver Bjorkstrand there of the Seattle Kraken, who's off to a pretty damn good start with his new team, getting all the opportunity in the world, playing up on that second line and number one power play logging about 18 plus minutes per night and I love the way he's shooting the puck with his new team and he should he's naturally a good shooter he's got 30 shots on net now through seven games he's got one goal three assists four points as well and averaging damn near 12 DraftKings points per game which really stuck out to me at this price here of $4,400. Now moving over here to the defenseman and I feel like at this point I have to talk about Ross Moustalin he is off to such a fantastic start to the year five goals three assists eight points in his first five games, including a goal in every single game. He's averaging over three shots on net per game and close to three block shots per game as well. So not only is he getting on the score sheet at a really high rate, he's racking up DraftKings points in a number of different ways by shooting the puck and blocking shots as well. That has averaged him out to 22 DraftKings points per game through his first five games, playing a Seattle Kraken team here tonight whose penalty kill has been very bad to start the year, just hitting at a 64% rate. And you're going to see Darlene run that number one power play for Buffalo tonight, play on the penalty kill, and should log about 24 plus minutes. Now, when you clicked on this video, you probably didn't expect me to highlight Shane Goss to spare. And look, when I made the spreadsheet last night, I didn't anticipate putting him on here either. But looking at his numbers, they have been very good to start the season. And I I do like the matchup here tonight against the Columbus Blue Jackets, who are allowing 3.86 goals per game to start the season, 7th most in the NHL. Ghost here has 2 goals, 3 assists, 5 points in his first 5 games. I love the way that he's shooting the puck, damn near averaging 4 shots on net per game, and close to 17 DraftKings points per game. He's playing up on that number 1 power play, playing about 24 plus minutes per night, and while I likely won't highlight a bunch of Arizona Coyotes throughout the year, Ghost numbers really did stick out to me for tonight's matchup. I then got Ross Moose Anderson there of the Calgary Flames, who's also very affordable at $4,700. That's just kind of the Calgary Flames in general here tonight, all priced very well. You could actually stack them up with that first line if you wanted to in Lindholm, Huberdeau, and Tyler Toffoli, all of those guys playing up on the number one power play. This penalty kill for the Pittsburgh Penguins has not been very good to start the year. I know they were one of the best penalty kill teams in the league last year, but when you don't have Teddy Bluger, one of your best penalty 
penalty killers, it definitely hurts you. They're just hitting at a 73% rate on the penalty kill to start the year, so I kind of just like stacking up that number one power play for Calgary tonight. Now, Anderson himself has one goal, five assists, six points in his first five games to start the year, and three of those six points have come on the power play, so 50%, and he should log about 24 plus minutes. And that's exactly what I'm doing here with Kalen Addison as well, stacking him up with the forwards on that number one power play. He's very affordable here at $3,700, so you can mix him in with Kaprizov and Zuccarello if you wanted to. He's done well on the power play here. He's got six assists in his first five games to start the year. Four of those assists coming on the power play. Now, he's not going to log crazy minutes. Might only play about 15 to 17 minutes here tonight. But again, my whole purpose of rostering him is playing on that number one power play, which has been the only bright spot for Minnesota this year. They actually have the second best power play percentage in the NHL right now, scoring at a 36.5% rate. And then I got a couple of goaltenders there for a higher priced and lower priced option. But being that it is a 10 game slate, 20 different goalies to choose from, there's a number of different routes that we can go. I am targeting two guys here who are playing teams that are playing on back-to-back -back nights. First, Linus Allmark here of the Boston Bruins playing the Dallas Stars who are playing on back-to-back -back nights. Just got beat up last night by the Ottawa Senators. I guess the one thing the Stars do have going for them is Jake Ottinger will be starting tonight, who I don't even mind him at $7,400. I talked about him in yesterday's video. He's been the best goalie in the NHL to start the year. But being that Dallas might be a little fatigued on the road right now, and Boston has been very good themselves, I do like Allmark here. He's also undefeated to start the season with a goals allowed average of 2.23, save percentage of .929, averaging around 16.5 DraftKings points per game, and has 1.4 goals saved above expected. Now with James Reimer here, this is a GPP or tournament only play, but I do like the price at $7,200, playing the Vegas Golden Knights on back-to-back -back nights. I don't love the matchup here, but they are at home, so Vegas would have had to travel last night into San Jose. Now, Reimer has been off to a good start this year, although he does play on a horrible team. He's 2-2 two two so far with the goals allowed average of 2.01 and a save percentage of .940, so really good numbers there, and actually has 5.4 goals saved above expected, and is the fourth best in the NHL. I really don't expect that to continue because the team in front of him is not very good, but needless to say, Reimer has played well to start the season and sitting at a good price here, 7200 And as always, going to wrap up this spreadsheet here with three low-priced options or sub-4K forward plays. First guy I got there is Michael Backlin of the Calgary Flames, who plays on that third line and number two power play, but does log really solid minutes, should play about 17, 18 plus minutes here tonight. Has just two goals through five games, but is averaging around four shots on net per game and 11 DraftKings points per game. Anytime you're averaging 11 DraftKings points per game in the mid 3K range, that will definitely stick out to me. Next is Casey Middlestead there of the Buffalo Sabres, playing on that second line and up on the number one power play. He's actually riding a three game point streak right now with one goal and four assists, five points, with four of those points coming on the number one power play. And then Freddie Goudreau there, I kind of name dropped him earlier when I was talking about Kaprizov. You could stack him up with Kaprizov and Zuccarello on that first line. He is going to play on that number two power play as well in a good matchup here tonight against the Montreal Canadiens. And then to wrap up this video here, want to talk a little prize picks with you guys. Now, as I record here this morning, you guys know the deal. They do not have the full set of picks out. Looks like they cut that off right around the Chicago and Florida game. So a handful of games that they still need to put props out for, but I did have three that stuck out to me. You can see those off to the right-hand side there. Shane Goss to spare over two and a half, Kubalik over two and a half, and Kachuk over three and a half shots on net. Those guys have been trending in the right direction to hit the over on that, but you guys know the deal here. I'm going to do my research today. I'll go through all of these picks here once all of them come out, and I'll let you know my final picks in a comment below on this video, and I'll be sure to pin that comment as well. Now, for those of you who have not signed up for prize picks yet but want to get in on this action, I got a promo code that you should definitely take advantage of. When you're signing up, use my promo code GRIFF. G-R-I-F-F -F, and prize picks will give you all the way up to a $100 match deposit. Now the nice thing about prize picks is they match that deposit 
right away. So let's say you put 100 bucks in today, you're going to see prize picks match that right off the bat. So you're essentially playing with free money or house money on your first set of picks. Now you don't have to put 100 bucks in either. You want to put in 50, they'll match 50. You want to put in 20, they'll match 20. They'll match anything up to $100. Again, as long as you're using my promo code GRIFF. G-R-I-F-F -F, upon signing up. All right, everyone, that is going to wrap up this video here for today. As always, thank you all for taking the time out of your day to watch the content here on this channel. If you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. Let's have ourselves a great day here, folks. Let's win some money on this 10-game slate. I'm out of here.